Good morning. Good morning. Um, today we are standing here first to discuss the high price of living, but better yet, in Nassau County government, what we're seeing today with this $105 fee. We stand here today, six of the members of the Democratic Caucus, three of which are here with me today, two of which are here with me today, uh, Legislator Delia DeRigi Whitten and Legislator Ellen Birnbaum, but in speaking with the other members of our caucus, they're in complete support. All of us as Democrats are here to say no to the $105 public fee, public safety fee, and so many of the other tax and fees that are literally driving residents out of Nassau. We are proud here to stand with AAA, national organization that fights for rights of the motorists and the safety of our roads. We applaud them for their good work that they do, not just here in Nassau, but New York and abroad. We are proud today to be standing with uh, AAA representatives, Mr. Robert Sinclair, as well as Alec, but we wish we didn't have to be here with them today. Today, we are here to discuss the unfair tax to motorists, and one that we truly believe is illegal. 87% of the tax levy that goes to day-to-day -day operations for the police, if our county government is not balancing the police budget, they are frankly not balancing the budget. Our police, and let's be clear, do an amazing job to keep us safe. We're thankful for their service, and we know the importance of their job. That is one of the main reasons why we think it's incredibly risky to try to balance the budget on this tax and fee, which basically is unreliable. We also believe the fees are short-sighted. In one way, they're a money grab, but at the same time, they may not materialize once we see the fee go up to this level in the budget. If you do a comparison, if you look at a comparison chart of Nassau versus the neighbors in Queens, I think it proves that the price is not only living high here in Nassau County, but the price is driving here is definitely outstanding. Out, outstanding. Outstanding. Sorry. Look. Outstanding. Outstanding. So, we are here today to call on the administration, as well as the Republicans in the majority, to not pass the unlawful 105 taxing fee here in Nassau County. And just so that you can simply understand it, right now, any driving, parking, traffic, or parking infraction, uh, take the red light cameras for example, you receive a $50 fine, a $45 administrative fee, and what the administration and the majority and the Republican delegation are proposing is adding another $105 to that. If you take a look at the New York State Comptroller's report, he recognized that when you take a fee, an administrative cost for a program, and then try to apply it by not doing what you're supposed to be doing with the fee in terms of addressing the infractions and the actual origination of the fee, it is illegal. What the Republicans in the majority are doing with the county executive is trying to impose an illegal tax. And look, we have dealt with the Republicans in the majority, as well as the county executive, on numerous other issues. Over a, almost a thousand people, thanks to the help of AAA, have written to county legislators and have requested from them not to go forward with this fee. And this administration and the Republican delegation have chose to ignore them. Same thing happened with our Inspector General. We had thousands and thousands of people, over 4,000 people that wanted to see a referendum for an inspector general here in this county, and again, they were ignored. And then lastly, just earlier this year, hundreds if not thousands of people at the request of Legislator Burn Brown wanted to see the reopening of the 6th Precinct, and again, the Republican majority and the county executive had chosen to ignore them. So we know the pattern here, that they're just going to try at all costs to push this down Nassau County residents' throats. And that's why it's important that Nassau County residents know that their voices are not being heard 
only by the six of us and, and AAA, and they need to be at the budget hearing before this takes action on Monday, October 31st. Uh, that being said, I want to uh, hand the floor over to AAA, Alec from AAA, for some comments as well.